pours forth, no you are no longer a being held by the activities of your own creation, but you are a free being, who has cut asunder the chains of your own forging. And as they drop away, you stand forth the commander of your own world, a being of light. I thank you. F-R-A-N-D-S of the light. Oh, what a wondrous word, friendship, is. It is the great impersonal activity of life, which by the inner law of its own attraction creates what we know as true friendship. Tonight, come with me into the garden of my heart. Observe with me the beauties which are there, the release from all human qualities, and the fulfillment of your great desires. In those desires, every heart is coming to know that its call has been to the light. May that call be satisfied tonight. May the fullness of thy infinite power, O light within each human form, find its response, and in the garden of my heart, gather the flowers which will bloom forever in the gardens of their own hearts. May they stand glorified in the outpicturing of all the great law of life holds for mankind. It has waited so long. It has waited until the attention of mankind would give it the opportunity to flood forth, and show to the individual whether his garden had been well tended or not, whether it had been cared for properly. Today, many gardens of life are being set into. 525. Divine Order and the beauty which is gathering there is exquisite to behold, after many centuries of neglect. Tonight allow me to help you in designing, or calling forth the reappearance of the design of your garden of life. It waited so long to again take form. In the center of that garden of life is your home, the home of light, exquisitely beautiful, filled with all the treasures that your kind deeds have done, have brought forth and given life. Ere long only the perfection, the blessings which you have given forth, will remain in your garden. In the cleansing and purifying of your feeling world comes beauty again to your garden of life. Oh, how all long to look upon the beauty and perfection of their own creation. My friends of the light, today you have the key to unlock your garden gate. Enter in. And see, all unknown to you in this world of human limitations and turmoil, your garden of light. In your home of light is the perfecting activity going on, preparing for the day when you are able to say to all human creation, Oh, with a great, victorious smile, no longer have you power to remain in my world. Be thou gone forever. Then in the fullness of the consciousness of your victory, will all that has taken unpleasant form in your garden disappear and wither away, dissolving, to appear no more. Such is the condition for which the great divine director has enabled you to be prepared this day. Will you for a few moments allow me to enter your garden, as I have invited you to enter mine? Let me assist in the rearrangement of your garden, to put everything into order so when you bring back the conscious memory of your first conscious visit there, you will bring back the victory of light, its rejoicing, its great calm peace. Its great and full feeling of mastery over all outer conditions. That is all for you, my friends of light. It is for everyone who will hold his attention to the presence of light and life, of victory, wisdom, and power. Your short labor, your short service is in just pouring out loving kindliness to everything, most of all to your associates, whether it be person, place, conditions, or things. Still, all life responds to the outpouring of divine love and becomes the victory of light. Let us gather about us our friends of the light. Let us consider for a moment what that means. It does not mean just individuals alone. You have some friends of your own creation. You have some things of your own creation which are not your friends. Therefore they are not of the light. They are of the shadows, and the shadows have held their dominion quite a long time. Our friends of the light are saying to the shadows, you may no longer have energy to sustain you. You are built upon the sands of human doubts and fears, the quicksand of human creation. Therefore, your foundation is of no avail. Therefore, sink. You shadows, into oblivion. Wither and disappear. Come, my friends of the light. Take your dominion in my household, my palace of light. There shall we dwell forever in the victory of the light. The harmonies of life shall find their expression in the great melodies of life. They are transcendent in power of achievement. Then, I will find and you will find the dominion of your being, in the power of the light rays. As you look about and see what service is to be rendered, you will say, my friend of light, go forth to this objective. Go forth to that person. Go forth to that condition. 
hold them in thy wondrous radiance until that person, place, or condition becomes the radiance which thou art. Then will all become peace and rest and happiness. Then will the fullness of life know its own, reach forth and draw it into action. It will dwell with its friends in its palace of light. Then will the table be laden with the service of crystal light, glittering in its majestic purity and perfection. Then, as the essence of life fills the crystal cup, will you hand forth that crystal cup to your friends of light following on and say to them, Drink of life in its purity and be free. Such is the beauty and perfection of your friends of light. Tonight, may I accept you, my friends of light? Let my light and my love help to purify you, your mind, body, and world, that your garden may bring forth the choicest flowers and the choicest fruits of life. Its fullness will be the peace and happiness every heart craves, but which it has not known how to find or to bring about. Behold the mighty director of your life, the presence of all life, who through your higher mental body is the arranger of life. When you are willing to give sufficient obedience to the presence of all life, the mighty I am presence, your higher mental body will be your friend of light, for it is the source from which you receive all good. I welcome you into my garden tonight. Will you be my friends of light? that I may enter into your garden and help to produce all the perfection and beauty that you wish to express and that you wish to give forth. Think of it. Your friends of earth are friends of light when you come to think of them as the mighty I am presence. Let us try to forget the lower vibratory action which we have called the human, and as we say to that human, you have no power, then dismiss it, forget it, and become the friends of light everywhere forever. I hold you within my heart of light, that you may rest there in peace, so the fullness of all that life holds for you may flow and never cease, until its great abundance has charged your world with light, has lifted you into the garden of love, into your palace. Your perfect sight lifts and holds you there in the light and beauty of life. It holds you free and lifts. You forever above all outer strife. Call with all your heart. Be my friends forever in the light, and I will call and lift you through the power of God's own light. Then we will move together in the presence of all that is, all perfection, all life, its beauty and peace in the eternity of light. I thank you and bless you for being willing to enter my garden, that I may enter yours, and we shall, arm in arm, hand in hand, move forth together to your victory in the light. My love and blessings and those of the great host of ascended masters, the legion of light, and the great cosmic beings enfold you forever, and give you rest and peace in the action of gods, the mighty I am's. Great silence, until all desires and cravings for perfection are fulfilled in your life. I thank you. Victory's Garden I hold you in my heart of light, so you may dwell in peace. Then, all that life still holds for you will flow and never cease, until its great abundance, too, has charged your world with light, for now the garden of my love is your own palace bright. Your presence lifts and holds you there, its beauty, your own life, the I am holds and sets you free, above all outer strife. Oh, call to me with all your heart, my dear friends of the light. And I will raise you by my POWR, the great command, my might. So, arm in arm, and hand in hand with legions of great light, we move together, ever free, in gardens dazzling bright, the garden of your heart and mine, life's glory you now see. You are my dear friends of the light, I am, your victory.